Hey, what's up guys? Frank here with another video. And today I want to make a video about product or for Amazon Merch. And so lately I've been hesitating in order to buy a similar extension that I was using, which was pretty merch. And I was struggling, I was hesitating to get the pro version. And it's only quite recently, probably like last week or whatever, that I found out about Productor. Productor is quite similar to Pretty Merch, but I feel like it's way more complete, okay? I was actually using Pretty Merch and I was using a bunch of other tools in order to find the right keywords and also, also use another extension for Amazon BSR. And basically, Productor, as I'm, feel, as I'm feeling right now, is pretty much like a big toolkit which includes like a bunch of extension that I was basically already using. And so I just wanna talk a little bit about Pr Productor and it's basically free. That's another thing about this tool. It's basically free. Pretty much pro, you have to pay a monthly subscription for it, but Productor is completely free and it's a big bundle of multiple extension that I was already using and so I'm just gonna go through a bunch of feature that I find that I find really cool that I've, that I've started using. Again, I'm just going to go into the main feature that I'm using, but you know, I'm, I'm quite still learning it because I started using it probably like something like uh, last week or something, okay? And so I, I will put the link into the description and if you wanna use it for yourself, then you can use it, okay? And so here we have the Productor dashboard, which is, uh, you know, if you use Pretty Merch, it also has a specific dashboard. But the cool thing about this dashboard is that it's pretty much fully customable, okay? You can change things as you want here. And as you can see, I put it on dark mode, but you can use uh, the light mode and you know, you can just move things around here, okay? These, those are just bunch of widgets that you can like change and, and make bigger, change the size. And you can also add a bunch of widgets, add and remove a bunch of widgets. And so the widgets that I, that I, have, here, that I have here and this dashboard that I have, that I have here is pretty much uh, the default one, but you know, I just, change a bunch of things so that the most important things to me are, are available, I can easily see them, okay? And as you can see here, now that I think about it, all the prices that, that I'm going to talk here and that you're going to see in this software is in Canadian dollars, okay? So I live in Canada and so having all the amounts and all the money in Canadian is pretty useful for me because I live in Canada and so this software allows you to kind of make the conversions automatically, okay? And so, as you can see, uh, today we're still in the morning, but I've made pretty much uh, 17 Canadian dollars from uh, the sales. I'm just gonna go through the statistic uh, as well, okay? And yesterday I've made a bunch of money as well. And as you can see, you can also see the products, like those are, or statistics or whatever and you know it's just cool stuff to see you, you see like I've made you can see the product that I've made some sales here and another cool thing that you can see here is the average days until it first sold and so basically on average it takes 162 days before a product gets a sale okay and so basically we're talking about products here and not design and so it's i think it's a cool number to have and again it gives you an idea of you know if you upload a product well on average how long it's gonna take and you see you also have the designs my designs are available and you see a cool stat that you can see here is uh, of all the designs that I have uploaded right now, only around 12% of the designs, of the designs, not the product, actually have sales. So that's a, I think that's a pretty cool thing to know. And so another thing that you can um, look into is, is uh, well, you can also have forecast sales. 
and you can also have the the current trends from Google Trends and so right now we have the daily Google Trends if you're looking for ideas to make designs or whatever that's that can be really useful and you also have the Google Trends in real time again it's just to like if you're looking for designs and if you want to make money for example on trends that are currently happening those things can really be good okay and so another cool thing here that you have is upcoming events okay i was actually using a website to know which upcoming events were coming but you see the fact that i have this widget here that i'm able to see which events are coming up then I can make my designs related to these events. And so if, for example, like I see this thing here and you know, like in seven days, I know that the World Humanitarian Day is coming, then it might be a great idea to make designs about this niche, okay? And so those widgets here on the right are mostly to find ideas and find events in order to find niche to create design in. And so, those things here are really useful okay and so those are the sales all time and also the my current month sales and the last the last seven days sales so that's pretty cool i really like this dashboard it's full of information and you know i had the pretty much free version all of these things were pretty much included in the pro version but i never actually use the pro version but you see you get you can you, you pretty much get this dashboard for free which i find really cool and another cool thing that i've found about productor is on the listing creation page is that first of all you can basically like select automatically like the colors here like you don't have to single pick every color every time and so by using the, this, this extension, you get to select all the dark colors at once and then you can apply this to all products, which I find really, really cool because what I used to do is like click the single color every time. And so if I was looking to select the light color, then I, was, I would select the light colors manually and so this this extension allows you to select all the dark colors at once and all the light color as once and also to apply this to all products and so I think this is really useful okay and so as for the price I don't really change anything about the prices but you have some things that you can use about the prices and all this stuff so I think this is pretty cool and other, another cool thing that I found about uh, this add-on this extension is related to the description okay and so when you have bad words for example gif is usually a bad word that you should avoid in your listings then it tells you hey this word is not good you should avoid it and then if you remove it then the, the red label goes away so so it's easier to make your descriptions and your titles as well because this add-on tells you which word you should avoid and you easily get the label and I was actually using another extension for this feature here but I think this extension makes it very easier to see what's going on another cool thing about this is that you can also check the trademark within Amazon okay and so you can check the trademark using these buttons here the trademark US the trademark uh, EM I'm not sure what this is but you know it gives you an idea of which terms and which keywords could be dangerous for your listings and so you, you can avoid them so that you avoid maybe like your listing get declined and so it's it's a simple way to optimize your listing okay and you have other uh, features such as translate I mean uh, I'm not sure that if I would use it because you know Amazon can already translate all of your products so I'm not sure if this translation is better or anything but and so overall it gives you a bunch of great feature to create your listing within this extension.
And also, uh, also another cool thing about this extension is that, yes, I've mentioned a bunch of statistics here, but there is actually another place where you can actually see all of your statistics. And so I think this is really, really cool. And as you can see, um, my top product is obviously the standard t-shirt with 90%. 90% of my sales come from the standard t-shirt. And so, you know, it's just, if you're new into Amazon merch or whatever, that's really useful to know, okay? And uh, here we have uh, the gender of the, the sales or whatever. And so here, 47 of my sales are designed, designed for men. And so again, since most of my sales are standard t-shirt, I'm assuming most of these sales are men's t-shirt and 27% of my sales come from, are for women actually. And you get a bunch of sales. I'm assuming here the men's t-shirt can also be unisex or anything, but you know, those are good stats to have. And also a good stat that you take into consideration is this one here, the top color, okay? And here is almost half of my sales are using the black color, okay? And I was actually surprised when I saw this because then when you look just after, the second best color is, I thought it would be white, but it's actually grass, it's actually green. And so I'm actually amazed by that because white is actually the third best color or whatever. And so it gives you into perspective that, that you should optimize all of your designs for the black color. I mean, yes, what I usually try to do is make a version for the black t-shirt and also another version for the white t-shirt. But as you can see here, the black t-shirts are most are most are, are the most popular and so you should always take into, into consideration that your white designs are going to sell more on black t-shirts okay and so that's something to keep in mind and so this is related to reviews and top niche I don't, there's nothing about that and then the return rate by products. And it seems like most of my returns are not related to the standard t-shirt. So that's quite funny. So I'm, the top product is obviously the standard t-shirt, but the top return rate is actually the Samsung Galaxy case. So that's quite funny. And so then the top size here is Mel large, Mel XL. So as you can see, it's just a really, a bunch of really great statistics. And so as you can see here, this extension productor is, is really a massive, complete and free extension for your Merch Amazon business. And it's not just for Amazon business as well. I mean, if you go on, um, Amazon, I mean recently I bought the Kindle for a Kindle e-reader for example, but I'm just gonna show you like another cool thing. When you go on a listing, it gives you like all sort of statistics about this listing. And so for example, you can see the keywords, you can see the, B, uh, the BSR, which is the Amazon rank. And so the lower the BSR rank is, the better your listing is going to rank on Amazon, okay? And so if, for example, you see a great listing on Amazon, it could be another listing, not just your own, but another listing, you can just go on Amazon and look at, is, at, the, at its statistic and you can like see all the keywords and all the royalties or whatever and you can see the ranks and I think it's really useful to get these things because then this information helps you to create your own listing so that your own listings also get sales and so this obviously applies to Amazon Merch but also if you're uh, an FBA seller on Amazon Seller Central or whatever then the, this feature can also be useful to you 
And so yeah, that's pretty much what it is. You have the extension here, and as you can see, like you can enable a bunch of things, and it's pretty much like pretty much you have this extension. You can simply click here, and then it opens the the um, the the dashboard, and so. That's pretty much it so far. I really like this extension, and again, I was I used pretty much for pretty much like three years, and I've never actually paid for the monthly subscription. But I just found out about Productor maybe like last week or something, and I started uh, using it, and I basically removed pretty much, and now I'm just using it. But so far, I've I've had a really good uh, good experience, and. I just enjoy the fact that it's quite complete and it has a lot of information and I've never been through all the feature but you know I just think it's really cool and so if you're into Amazon Merch and even if you're into uh, Amazon FBA and Amazon Center Central these this extension can actually be useful to you and so it's up to you to try it out it's it's completely free and so it, it costs you nothing to, to use it okay and so i hope that this video was helpful to you and let me know if you have any question okay peace